This is post-operative um, multi-centre uh, randomised study of patients with uh, pancreatic cancer from Abdel Rahman. Starting after we have published the result of the sarcoma study uh, 2010, we started a new randomized study for a new tumor modality, pancreatic cancer. This is a multi-center study in more than 10 centers in Germany. And before we starting this uh, randomized study, gemcitabine uh, versus uh, gemcitabine and cisplatine, um, to the problem of the pancreatic cancer, we have the same incidence and mortality in this pancreatic situation, so we have no effectiveness therapy for such patient. And um, so we see here the pancreatic cancer, 80% of the patient are not able to be rejected at the time of first diagnosis. So, and 15% of the patient have an R0 or R1 resection, the standard therapy, and after that is the gemcitabine monotherapy regarding to ITLE, which was published 2010. And the recurrent disease is more than 80% in two years. In this situation, the patient receive fulforinox or other treatment. So the modality of our treatment to install the heat randomized study instead of the gemcitabine mono. And the phase two study in case of recurrent or in case of liver metastasis under the first regimen of therapy. So at the beginning, I come to the phase two study and then to the HEAT study. The phase two study, they give the patient who are have a failure after a gemcitabine-based treatment. We give the patient, in this case, gemcitabine and cisplatine combined with regional hypothermia. Cisplatine, because it is chemosensitive chemotherapy agent. This is the publication who shown the effectiveness of gemcitabine and cisplatine combined with hypothermia, so that's the rationale for our clinical study. So you have seen it, we use an BST 2000, this is Peraxa now with Sigma 60 applicator, 80 pole antenna, and the new approach is 24 dipole antenna, and this is more important for treatment of pancreatic cancer, because in this applicator, we are able to change the focus of the treatment in three-dimensional um, direction. So we see here that we are able to have an X in the longitudinal direction, the axial is a distribution, and we see here in case of pancreatic cancer, we use, we need the shifting of the target to the direction of the head of the patient to be able to treat the upper abdomen in this situation. And we see here the ability to change the SR distribution in the sagittal view. So. 
and there is no any hypothermia system now in the market who is able to change the hypothermia field in the third direction. To see the effectiveness of um, hypothermia treatment in such very difficult to heat tumor in the abdomen, it's a very deep tumor, we test the effectiveness of temperature in this situation and we installed an invasive temperature catheter by the patient, you see it, and we measure the temperature each six minutes and with a thermal mapping and so we see here the temperature distribution along the catheter. In a calculation of 18 patient, 146 treatment, we have a median maximum temperature of 42 one degrees and that was the rational for performing hypothermia in such a very difficult tru tumor like the pancreatic cancer. So we are able to receive a sufficient temperature invasive measured in the upper abdomen. The next one, we measure the tumor in the, in the pancreas in two cases, and we have seen a temperature of more than 41 degrees in these cases, and so we have seen we can measure the temperature in the pancreas, especially, and in the abdominal, upper abdomen in general. We published the first 23 patient of this patient collective, gemcitabine and cisplatin combined with regional hypothermia. In second line treatment, in patient with gemcitabine refractory advanced pancreatic cancer. In 2013. So we have 23 patients, and all of these patients have stage three, uh, and all of these patients, they have a locally advanced tumor or metastatic legion. The most of them, as usual, by pancreatic cancer is the liver metastasis. We was able to give a sex cycle by 17 patients and more than and then more than sex cycle in sex patient. The treatment regime C we give gemcitabine at day one and at day two and day four we give cisplatin combined with hypothermia, as mentioned, because cisplatin is the, thermo, the thermosensitive chemotherapy of this treatment regime. We give the patient 12 cycles of chemotherapy and hypothermia. And we see here the toxicity observed by this chemotherapy and hypothermia treatment regimen. We have no grade four, only some similar cases in anemia or leukopenia. None um, savory toxicity in this treatment regime. Hypo 
hyperthermia has no grade three or grade four toxicity. And we have seen after four cycle of chemotherapy and hypothermia, a disease control rate of 50%. And that's partial response and stable disease. So the most important thing which we have seen that we have after progression disease under the first line of chemotherapy, we have seen a progression arrest of about 4.3 months. So we were able to control the disease for more than median for more than four months. And we have an overall survival of about 13 months median. We see here such an example of a patient who has a progressive disease under gemcitabine. And we give the patient gemcitabine cisplatine combined with hypothermia in July and and that's the result after five months, a partial response in the liver disease after five months. And that was the rationale for the phase three study. The sent at uh, chemotherapy regime for rejected patient is gemcitabine which was published by Etle, and the update was 2013. <coughs> Benefit of gemcitabine versus observation in disease-free survival and, and overall survival with a significant benefit. So we know that gemcitabine is effective in rejected pancreatic cancer. We know that we are able to heat the pancreas effectively, and we are able to heat liver metastasis effectively. And therefore, we st establish the HEAT trial. Randomizing gemcitabine, this is the standard chemotherapy by rejected pancreatic cancer versus gemcitabine and cisplatin compared with hypothermia. The question was, why didn't you use gemcitabine versus gemcitabine cisplatin versus gemcitabine cisplatin and hypothermia? Uh, the study was designed as a three-arm study. But in the ASCO 2010 was, was published that no difference between gemcitabine versus gemcitabine cisplatin. So we don't need to make the same experience. And therefore, we compare standard and standard with thermosensitive chemotherapy with the hypothermia. The 
the primary end point of the study is disease-free survival and we want to prolong the disease-free survival from 14 to 19 months. We plan a sample size of 168 patients randomized in the two arms in a This is the schedule of the study gemcitabine versus gemcitabine cisplatin and hypothermia and follow up. Now we have randomized 54 patients in this study. You see here the different centers who are involved in this study, Munich, Düsseldorf, Tübingen, Erlangen. And we see here the randomized patient, 50 patients are randomized, and this is the screened patient. And the first analysis which we have seen Primarily data, only toxicity analysis. We have we have 20 patients analyzed, uh, and uh, we have seen no grade three toxicity. The CIAs was only two neutropenic fever and one before treatment start, non-related allergical problem. So we have, we have no savory toxicity of this study. Okay, thank you, sir.